my roots are going in, so soon I'm going to look like I'm balding, so I can't wait for that. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing another get ready with me, um, this is kind of a mukbang, mukbang, I don't know, but I got hungry while I was getting ready so I drank it. Okay so we're going to just start with some moisturiser, um, this is not going to be a really like crazy look or anything, I'm just going to the pub tonight. So um, I'm not going to be wearing this top because I literally look like I've just walked out of like Buckingham Palace. I'm going to be doing a bit of foundation. I think I was kind of iffy about doing this because I kind of have a love-hate relationship with foundation. Like, I like how it looks on, obviously, but I don't know. I just My issue is I can never be bothered taking it off. So I'm just using my Estee Lauder um, foundation, the one I always use. It's so good, except I always was like, oh, this is the perfect match for my skin. But recently, like, I don't know if I'm just getting paler, which I don't really think is humanly possible. But every time I put it on now, I feel like I look really orange, so that is an issue. I really wanted to talk about the Kylie, Chloe, Jordan situation. It's kind of old news right now. Like, I don't think anyone cares about my opinion on it. Like, why would you? But if you were curious on what I, like, what I thought, um, I am on the Kardashian side. Okay, so now the foundation and concealer is done. I look kind of scary. We're going to be powdering. Just using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now we're going on to eyebrows. Um, I have an eyebrow routine up if you want to watch it. When I was younger, I remember in like, every single video I'd be like, Would you please excuse my eyebrows? I'm sure no one even noticed, to be honest, that they were awful. I literally have like three hours to get ready, maybe. I can just tell I'm going to be late. So I'm going on holiday tomorrow, but if you want to see a packing video, I mean I know this is going to be too late for anyone to reply, not that anyone probably would. I'm so good at making smoothies. So I'm just going to be using like purpley kind of shades, like, I don't know. Oh, it's my birthday soon actually. Um, I'm turning 19, um, which is like... Not a very exciting age, I guess. Oh wait, it's like it's gonna be the last year that I'll be a teenager. Crazy. Um, so yeah, excited for that, but no plans for it so far because um, everyone that's in uni right now is like doing the exams around about my birthday time, so it's just really inconvenient. I feel like every year, like when it comes to my birthday, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna have such a good birthday, I'm gonna do like all these really fun, exciting things. And then I don't. Like, I've never had a birthday party. I don't think. Except when I was like seven, my mum invited some of my friends over for like a wee surprise party, but that was like just my house. Like I'd, I've never properly done anything, I don't think. So yeah, that's kind of sad. It's fine, I'll get over it. So I'm just going to be blending that out. Um, I'm using my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then, what am I going to do next? I can just tell this video is not. Okay, now I'm going to be taking, I don't know, I'm going to talk about a controversial subject, which is Madeleine McCann. Obviously the whole new Netflix show came out, like the Madeleine McCann documentary. It was just not good. I got to like the second episode and I don't know, like I've heard that it gets better, but like it's like eight episodes, that's like eight hours of my life when I could literally just look up a conspiracy theory and find out the same information. I felt as though it was just talking about such irrelevant things. Like they started talking about the history of Portugal. Like if I wanted to find out about the history of Portugal, I'd watch like a documentary on Portugal or something or look it up on Wikipedia, I don't know. Like I don't want to hear about it, you know? They were like interviewing a property manager or something like that. Unless he took her, I don't care. So I don't know, that's just my thoughts and feelings. On it, I just felt as though it would just went very off topic. I don't know, maybe it gets better, maybe I should give it a chance. Now I'm also going to drag the colour that I used on my crease just like under my eyes. I'm going to go off camera now to do my eyeliner because I don't do it well in high pressure situations, which is this. But I've done my eyeliner, I also did my mascara while I was off camera just because it's easier. Also talking of TV shows. Um, I've been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine with my boyfriend and it's 
so good. And, like, I used to think I hated anything like to do with comedies because I was just like a sad child and didn't find anything funny. But it's just, it's really good and I really, really enjoy it. Okay, I'm just gonna do some bronzer now. I use a Hula bronzer, however, because I'm really pale, you can like really, really tell when I'm wearing um, like bronzer, which like isn't a good look. Another show that I really like to watch, it's so sad, is Super Vet. Literally, like, I just, I have never watched an episode and I haven't cried. The first time I watched it, I cried at the introduction. Like, that is how bad it is. Nothing had even happened. And I was crying. Now I'm just going to be using my Fenty Beauty highlighter, the one I always use. Can you just look at that? It's, I bet you can't even see it. Okay, so that is, oh my god. Okay, so that is the whole makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't really have much to talk about. I feel like I say this in every like get ready with me like I don't even really know why I do these videos but I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah I'll see you in my next video now I'm gonna go and take off this uncomfortable like medieval top